Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix iOS 18 not showing up in your iPhone. So let's get started. Now, this update was just released today as is available publicly for the official version on a compatible device. So let's show you how you can find that. First thing is you want to make sure your phone is compatible with iOS 18. This is the list of all the iPhones that are compatible with it. It goes from iPhone SC second generation later to iPhone 10 or later all the way up to the iPhone uh, 15 lineup and of course the 16 will come shipped with iOS 18 so make sure it's compatible now one thing you want to do if it's compatible is go ahead into your setting on your iPhone right and then you go to general software update and let the update load and the update should come up just like this or it might come down here with says upgrade to iOS 18 and you can go ahead and click on that. Now, if you don't see the update here listed for you, that's because there are a couple other things you can try to do. First thing is close out the setting app itself and then pull down the control menu, put your phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn it off and then reopen your setting after force quitting it. So you're going to slide up, force quit it, reopen it, go down to general and then software update and check to see if the update is available now if it's not the next thing you want to do where it says automatic update if you have these turned off like this I recommend turning it off one time just like that and then turning it back on go back again back again to the main settings close it out reopen it and then go into your general software update and let it check for update now, another thing I'm going to recommend is that if you are not on Wi-Fi to use Wi-Fi now cellular data works but it's slower so make sure you're connected to a strong Wi-Fi find the best way to get the latest update is make sure that your phone has a good strong Wi-Fi connection and you should see that update available on Wi-Fi now if it's still not showing the next thing you want to do is this method we're gonna go ahead and press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button the, until the screen goes black and the Apple logo appears so I'll do volume up, volume down, press and quickly release them and then hold on to this big side button. And this is known as a force restart, which will completely shut down the phone and reload the code. So if it's a software related issue, it will fix it for you. So let's get, let's see what happens after that. So we'll go ahead and turn. Now this will not delete any of your personal data. All of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. So we're going to wait for it to show up here. So once you do that, again, same exact thing, go into your setting and check that the update is available for you. Now, if it's not available, the next thing you want to do is go into your settings, go to general, and this time we're going to check our iPhone storage. So in order for you to download the update for it to show up, it need, your iPhone needs storage available. I recommend you have at least 10 gigs or more free. Here it will show you how much gig you have available. I have 93 gig, but you need at least 10 or so because the gig it requires a significant amount of space to be able to download and you can delete some of the apps or some of your longer format videos, photos to clear some space as well to help you go ahead and download. And after once you have cleared up the space, go ahead and check to see if you can see the update showing up on your phone here and it should show up. Now, if it's not showing up, the next thing you want to ensure that your phone, if you pull down the control menu, battery is at least 50% or more charge. When it's on lower charge, sometimes it doesn't download the update here. So plug it into a charger. I recommend charging it above 50 and then going in and checking to make sure that isn't the issue. Now, if you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to do in your settings here, go to settings, general, and then go down here. So transfer reset iPhone and then click on reset. And then you're going to want to do a network reset. Basically a network reset will reset things like any saved Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connected devices, also restoring any connectivity issues that you may be causing the phone not to be able to download that iOS 18 update to show up on your phone. Now, after you have done that and it's still not working, the last thing you can do is alternative to, instead of trying to download it through the actual phone itself, is using iTunes or Finder or a new MacBook to download it. That's gonna be your alternative method which we explain in another video, which we're going to put the link for that as well 
but that should help you fix iOS 18 to show up and hopefully it is showing up for you. You're able to successfully download and install iOS 18. If this video was helpful, please do consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks as we'll be doing for iOS 18. We'll see you guys next time.